This AI makes developers feel stupid. And yes, even on a free plan, you can code an entire app within 20 minutes. So let's get straight into it. You got the plans. If you want to upgrade, uh, I'm currently on a free version just for this video, just to show you that Claude is super useful even for zero euros, okay? I'm usually on this plan, Pro, which comes up to $21 a month with all of the fees and stuff. But if you are really a developer, right, that will be building complex apps that will take you years to do, but with Claude, it will take, take you literally weeks, then yeah, you can definitely go for this version, maybe for your team or something. Yes, 100%, but for the normal people, these two plans are totally fine. And the main difference here is the limitation, right? Claude will genuinely piss you off on the free version. That's why I bought the Pro, because on the Pro you have a lot more credits. And when you're building an app and troubleshooting, you're going to run into the problem on the free version where, where you will be just coding, 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 boom. Sorry, Claude is expired. You need to come back at 9 p.m., which is in like six hours for you. And you're like, okay, what I'm gonna do now, yeah? This is why you should buy the Pro, but it's totally up to you. All right, so you probably know ChatGTP, right? Everybody is talking about it. Oh, ChatGTP 5, ChatGTP 6, ChatGTP 7, blah, 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 blah. Okay, ChatGPT is good. I'm not even saying that, right? You can learn stuff to school. You can make good titles for your videos. You can do all of that. But at the end of the day, it's just text-based, you know? Most of the part, yes, now the AI heads are going to come at me being like, oh no, you can actually generate images. I mean, the images suck, right? And that's the problem with AI users in today's era. And I hope everybody actually realized this. You cannot make a tool yet, an AI tool that does everything good, okay? No, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. But if you want to code, you use Cloud AI. If you want to generate images you use, or videos, you use VO3, blah, blah, blah. You already get, get the point, right? We have made a video or I have made a video on perplexity that you can also watch that is the best search engine. But back to Cloud, okay, back to Cloud. We're going to start pretty light, okay? So what you can do with Cloud, and I'm on the free version, so we're not even going to get into what is Sonnet, what is Opus, who cares, right? Who cares? You, you can even use Opus 4 on the free version, but only three, three remaining uh, attempts or, you know, uses until September 15th, right? 15th. And now it's September 9th. So we're going to stick with Claude Sonnet 4. All right, so I'm going to say, make me a simple Pac-Man game with code and explain every step i am a beginner do okay boom whatever just just like that boom you can already see claude is just doing the pac-man game while we are here right so you don't have to actually know every single thing about coding because to make this game you would need to study a lot of coding right you you can already see you're like you probably doesn't know any you probably don't know any of this stuff maybe you know some maybe you know all but but even if you know all how long would it take to you to write 5000 words right probably sometime maybe an hour maybe two maybe a week i don't know how long it takes but we don't have we don't have to wait because we literally have a pac-man game right here okay so before we play it or we maybe try to play it, uh that, like <laughs> i cannot compromise this is a free version okay we're we're on a free version it's crazy okay whatever so this is basically the map, you know, that he gave us. Okay, so I created a complete, sorry, I've created a complete working Pac-Man game for you. Let me explain every step so you understand how it works. HTML structure, the foundation, boom. Canvas, what it is, HTML elements, what it is, CSS styling, basically CSS is for visuals, blah, 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 blah. JavaScript, game logic, game map game objects every single thing you got it here it says it doesn't have the ability to run the code it generates so let me let me genuinely let me genuinely try it it, it does okay you you see the pac-man you know and we're going to try to i mean i mean this is a fully work working app right you can see we're low-key working this this game is crazy but let me try to collide with this guy boom it ate us okay so this probably it we got the score boom and game over press space to restart boom and we're back right so this is a fully functional functional app or a game i would say that yeah i'm just playing i'm already addicted to this what the what is happening but okay uh just for showcase uh what if we would want to look at the code structure boom this is the code it's just docti oh sorry it's just html and it's this long you know so it's not that crazy what if we tried to do the same with ChatGTP, right? So I'm going to go to a new, new one, a uh, new chat, and I'm going to say, create me a Pac-Man game and explain every step. I am a uh, beginner. 
boom. I'm, I'm, I said the same thing. So let's see how does ChatGPT actually tackle it. Um, I'm not saying it won't create a game, but I'm saying it's not the best. We can see it's, it's taking a little bit more time, but you know, let's not totally criticize ChatGPT. I mean, it does a great job on other stuff. So, okay, it's pretty slow, but we're going to see, we're going to see how ChatGPT tackles it. Yeah, so definitely we're going to have a side-by-side -side comparison. So I want to see how, how it does. At, at, at the core, it's basically the same thing, right? Yeah. It, again does the map and everything and take in mind i'm just showing you the the crumbs or the baby steps of ai you know before we actually get into the great things that ai genuinely can do i want you to be prepared so we're taking this from the start i mean if you're an expert in ai don't watch my videos you know if, if you if you oh my god probably gonna die out by the way just before i finish the sentence i should be studying right now but i'm doing videos for you so I hope you at least like the video and share it maybe because I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow on the test. Anyways, if you're an expert on AI, don't watch my videos. Please don't do it because I'm not going to show you until, let's say, December. I'm not going to show you crazy stuff, you know. That's for my community that I'm going to launch on the New Year's or my birthday. But on the YouTube, I'm just going to show you, I don't want to say basic stuff, but the stuff you need, the necessary things that will take you to the next game when it comes to AI. So, yeah. If you're an expert, you're just wasting your time. But if you want to learn AI, if you want to know, know new things, if you want to explore all the new AI tools, subscribe to my channel and you're welcome. You have everything you need from Xcode to AI tools. But yeah, it takes so long for ChatGPT to create this. I'm just bored already, okay? So let me go back to Claude and let's say, for example, improve the visual... What did, what did I write? Uh, anyways, improve the visuals, right? So now Claude, what it's going to do, it's going to take the same code, it's going to rewrite it, it's going to improve it, change it, and just play with it, okay? So yeah, meanwhile, ChatGPT is still doing the same thing. Claude is, okay, it's loading. I don't know, maybe it's my Wi-Fi. No, it's not my Wi-Fi. Yeah, so meanwhile, ChatGPT is still loading the code or writing the code. Claude is already thinking about the next steps of improving the app. All right, guys, what, damn, what, what did I just saw? It's, it's crazy. Uh, I don't want to even, okay, let me, let, let's, let's wait for Claude, but I'm genuinely flabbergasted by what Claude actually did. So let's first look at ChatGPT. Okay, so yeah, this is the basic steps. Not bad. I mean, not the worst thing. I'm not going to criticize just because it's ChatGPT. Decent. And let's see the preview. Okay. I mean, this looks pretty good. I'm not going to even lie. So Pac-Man, beginner build. Use, uh, what is this? Use arrows, of course, to move. Glo goal, clear the... Okay. I mean, oh, it even has these functions. Okay, that's good. So let's start the game. Mm, I mean, I did start the game, right? All right. So, yeah. This just summarizes ChatGPT. On the first go, it messed up. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to say fix it because I want to genuinely see... I genuinely wanna see it. So, mm, mm, mm. so, fix the code. It is not working when I press play. Boom. And let's look at Claude and what it did because this is truly amazing. Like this can go to App Store. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This can go to App Store. They are literally haunting us. The, the game visuals are stunning. All right. Game over. Press space to restart. This is genuinely crazy. I mean, this is a bug, but let me press space. And okay, it doesn't, it doesn't work when I say this. Oh, okay, it does, it does. Damn, okay, what did I just do? Oh, I ate, I ate this, right? This stuns them or something. The visuals are crazy compared to the first one. And use, okay, eat all the dots and avoid the ghosts. Power pallets make ghosts vul vulnerable. Oh, we can eat them. I totally forgot about that. The Pac-Man is faster and everything. Okay, let me, let me genuinely try to eat this and just speed run it to kill them. I just want to see if it actually even works. Oh, they're, they, they, damn, they're scared or what? Okay, but you you can see the the mechanics of the game basically. It it improved it cr like crazy. So this just summarizes on how code is fun. You know, it can be fun. You can genuinely create your own game. Of course, this is just HTML, and if you look at the code, it's nothing. It's nothing too serious. It's just HTML, and you know, it it didn't do anything crazy when I actually look at it from the point where I can I can code right but I'm just trying to say I did this on a free version within 10 minutes I mean if I if I wouldn't be making a video I would make it in in three minutes okay this just shows how crazy Claude is okay let me actually try to play this so let me start the game 
and this is what ChatGPT did. Okay, like com compare these two. Okay, com compare these two. Like what the what what the hell is this even? Like I'm not even joking. Like what what is this? This is not the Pac-Man game, guys. Like like come on. Like do okay. Let me just show you the comparison. Like do do you see what I see? Yeah, I, I guess you get the point. So let me stop the video right here. This is the basics of Claude AI. This is an introduction to Claude. I'm probably going to do a follow-up version or sorry, a follow-up video on this topic. So I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, guys. So this was Claude and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.